Hi, this is Mr. Z, and today I want to share with you one of the events that we're doing in class. The students were invited to bring in, yes, their cell phones and iPod Touches. Now, we know that in a lot of classrooms, this is really not something that's done. Uh, teachers are tending to think that, you know, mobile devices are going to be distractions in the classroom. However, if you have the right tone and the right idea behind how these technology tools can work, you can actually use them as research tools, and that's what today's activities were all about. The students were given some words to define, some cities to look up the weather, uh, stock market prices, translations from English to another language, a whole bunch of different tasks. And the goal is to see, putting them in groups, which group could get the most amount of right answers in the least amount of time. Now, I started out by showing them a traditional dictionary and talking about how it's not practical to walk around with that, but they carry the power of Google in their pocket. And if they know how to use that tool appropriately and wisely, they can obtain information by just using simple text messaging. Um, in fact, it doesn't even require an expensive smartphone data plan, just a basic phone that has a basic texting is all that's needed for that. So we did some activities in class. The kids really enjoyed seeing how it could be used to find information. And it was a great activity that had everyone engaged and enthusiastic about technology tools. So I'll be blogging more about this as we do different experiments with mobile learning devices in the classroom. So feel free to follow along at my blog and you can subscribe at robztraining.com. Thanks for watching.